Hey everybody, Alan here. So today I'll be showing you how to edit a nighttime photo from uh, this to this, this to this. I'll click over here so you can compare them over here to over here. Okay. So the first thing I would do in this shot is crop the picture. Let's do this right now. And the one and the crop that actually that I actually decided on is the 16 by 9. Chop this down. Chop this down. Chop this down. And I'll probably put it around over here. Over here looks pretty good. I like this crop. Alright, let's get started. And over here, first thing I would do. Or second thing I would do is the contrast. So I bring up the contrast. I think around, yeah, I think around 34. Yeah, around the 30s would be good. And over here, I would uh, bring down the highlights. Bring down the highlights. Bring down the whites. I'll up the blacks a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'll up the shadows just a little bit. Okay. Then let's go to the clarity. I'll bring the clarity down just a little bit. Vibrance. I'll bring it up. Vibrance. Vibrance. I'll bring it up a little bit. Saturation. I'm going to desaturate this picture. Maybe 19. 19 looks good. Alright. So the tone curve. Tone curve is where you stylize a picture. Alright. Let's do this. Alright. I'll put this up. Oh yeah. For my pictures, I usually like a fade. I usually add in a fade, so I usually like fade pictures too, so I'll add in the fade. I'll bring this up quite a bit, actually. Quite, 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 quite a bit. And I'll bring this down. Bring this down over here. Push down. It might take a while when I do this uh, curve. And I'll bring this up. I'll bring this up kind of over here. And I'll bring this down right over here. And yeah, even even though this looks bad right now, but you'll see once I'm done. Let's go to the reds. We'll bring the reds up over here. We'll bring, we'll bring this down, kind of, we'll bring this down, kind of like right over here. We'll bring this over here. We'll add a little point to the dark section, kind of like this, at the greens. Bring this up over here. Over here. Then we'll bring the midpoint down. Kinda. Kinda like over here. Then we'll bring this one point over here. And for the blues. I think this point will look good over here. This point will be over here. It'll be over here. 
And the last point will be maybe kind of around here. And I'm going to go back to... I'm going to go back to the RGB. I kind of want it to have more contrast. So... I'll bring that up over here. Bring that up just a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good right now. And let's check the before and after. Before and after. That looks pretty awesome, actually. Now let's go to... The HSL, the hue, saturation, and luminance. Alright, let's see. What the hue does is it changes the colors of the of the picture. So whatever color it has, like over here, I'll show you for example. The reds. Okay, actually the reds are like this just these little points of the buildings. Okay, so We'll change that. Okay, so let's do the oranges now. Let's actually just do the oranges. Over here, you can see the buildings changing color. I actually like... Let's see what I like. Well, it actually depends on your taste. So my taste will be like... Maybe over here at 14. 14, the yellows. Let's see. Yellows. Let's kind of match, let's kind of match together. As you can see, like over here and over here, I'm, I'm kind of matching the yellows and the oranges. 33 looks pretty good. Let's see the greens. The greens, hmm. There's not really much greens, actually. You can see the greens over here around this area. Okay, so we'll actually bring it down. Actually, leave it to zero. The aqua. Aqua, I don't really see that much. The blue. Ooh, okay, so you, the blue you could see a lot. You could see the sky changing. Over here, I don't like the... Over here, it's more of like a tealish kind of look. I'm going for like a kind of like a darker blue. I like darker blue a little bit better. Well, for this picture. Purples. You can see the buildings changing color and the sky is over here. Actually, well, I kind of like the the pink ones. The pink kind of sky in here. Or, yeah, pinkish purplish. And uh, magenta. Magenta. Over here. Change that. And saturations kind of desaturate this. this is something that. Actually, this building is kind of distracting. It's like a purplish kind of color. I kind of want it to be more blue, or I could just desaturate that. Saturate that so it won't be so loose. Aquas. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the background noise. And the greens. Not really that much greens. Oh, maybe desaturate a little bit. Yellows. Saturate a little bit. Oranges, I'll desaturate a little bit too. And for over here, I, this purple thing's kind of bothering me. Purple building's kind of bothering me. Let's try to uh, adjust that. There you go. Even though it adjusted the sky, but didn't adjust it too much, so it's more of a blue color now. I kind of like it right now. Well, I like it a little bit better than before. 
luminance let's see luminance is the brightness of the brightness of the colors oranges Ooh, it's not bad but I'll turn it down <laughs> the yellows greens I'm not gonna touch the greens aqua oh the blues whoa Get down purples it's not it's not that bad They might desaturate the purples. Magenta. Nope. Change that. And over here, as you can see, I'm done with actually over here. I finished the HSL panel. Now I'm going to the details. I didn't do any uh, split toning for this picture. So over here, as you can see. The buildings are sharp. Over here, the building is sharp, so let's add a little bit sharp, a little bit of sharpening. Let's put it to or maybe around 40. 40 is a good target for me, actually. Because you add a little bit too much sharpening, you'll see in the shadows, you'll see noise in the shadows, like digital green. And for this, I'll do a masking. Just hold Alt. And just put this, just put this higher. Actually, I wanna see the whole picture. <laughs> masking, Alt. Let's put it over here. So just the buildings are sharp and not the whole picture. So it makes it look a lot cleaner in the sky portion area and uh, let's see let's see lens correction All right, I'll just add this so I could remove chromatic aberration I'll enable this I'll go to my s I had the Sigma oh yeah the camera that I use over here is the Sony a6500 and the Sigma 30 millimeters 1.4 all right let's check the vignette actually i like it over here i usually turn the vignette like this but all the way to the lowest when i enable profile correction but i actually like it like no vignette transform because i think it already looks kind of vignetted like naturally so I don't need to add any uh vignetting in here all right so we go to the last last one which is the camera calibration so let's, let's play with the colors actually oh, oh, oh. actually maybe just a little, little I a little, little bit minus one <laughs> and over here red primary as you can see the buildings are turning they're changing colors over here actually over here I'll add smudge of hue and the red primary saturation nope Add a little bit too. The greens, let's see if it does anything. Yeah, it actually does. It's actually changing the whole uh, image. Whoa. Actually, let's see what I like. Over here. Two over here. Actually, I do like this. Minus, negative, negative. Over here, the saturation and see desaturate nope like it like that 
and the blue primary let's see ooh kind of like that look it's going more towards even though actually it's going more towards the teals but I don't want it to be too teal so I'll leave it over here now the saturation Ooh, that looks colorful put it all the way to 100 and I'll bring it back down maybe to 21 and I think that might be almost it I got one more thing to do this is the before and this is after right now and okay over here I would add a radial filter just a little bit just a little smudge maybe 0 0.5 to the buildings only over here to the buildings this main building so and I'll add feathering nope not a hundred maybe 60 64 and yeah that's it thank you for watching that's it thank you for watching this is my uh edit of the night cityscape this is the before and this is the after let's check over here oops this is the before and this is the after.